This, you should really think about this set of releases as being the web release of our server operating system, dev tools, and database <coughs> platform approach. Uh, we know that around the world, and here in Romania, the rising set of expectations that customers have when they interact with your websites is increasing dramatically. The rising set of expectations that your employees have when they visit an internal portal continue to rise. And so we have to think carefully about how do we create a new generation of immersive experiences on the web? How do we actually provide the right tooling, the right way for developers and uh, designers of websites to work together? Make sure we've got the right platform in place. And so we have really focused in, in many, across all of these areas with this set of releases. Let's take the first. This idea about new immersive experiences, what does that look like? Well, for Microsoft, uh, we first released a very exciting set of technologies with Vista, which is the Windows Presentation Foundation, a new way for creating rich, 3D, high-performance, high-graphics capabilities. And we did something really interesting. We took that technology set and we made it available to the web browser in something called Silverlight. So it's a platform technology that enables very rich, very immersive internet experiences. And we did it in a way that was cross-platform. Windows, Macintosh, Linux. And we do it on the client side, and we also support it on the server side. So we have a streaming platform that can create really incredible experiences that are all based on .NET. So the focus is in around leveraging the talent base and the skills that people have to create this new generation. Well, if on the one hand we focused considerably with Windows Server 2008 and IS7 around how to take that platform set of experiences forward, we've also thought a lot about how do we help web designers and developers collaborate in new and interesting ways. Well, we've recently released a full portfolio of web designer solutions that we call Expression that allow people to build some very compelling online experiences. Now, in the past, there was a key challenge. And the challenge was that when a web designer created a beautiful immersive experience and handed it off to the developer to actually write the code, you would ultimately and frequently lose some of the fidelity of, of, of the uniqueness of that compelling experience. It just didn't get plugged in the right way. And then when someone makes a change to the design, how do you dynamically plug that into the development environment to write the code uh, in new and interesting ways and always stay in sync? And so what's happening with Visual Studio 2008 is really exciting in terms of new tooling support for WPF, new tooling support for things like Silverlight, so that we can keep designer and developer always in sync with each other. You need to do that on a platform that will meet the highest levels of mission critical performance standards for web computing in the industry. And so the work that we've done on Windows Server 2008, and in particular IIS 7.0, uh, is very profound. Uh, you know, I was, uh, back in 1995-96, I was actually the original product manager at Microsoft for IIS. Uh, we were going to ship IIS 1.0. We actually renamed it to 2.0 because we felt bad about shipping a 1.0 release. Uh, but it was as part of that first release that we shipped something called ISAPI the IIS API set, because we knew from day one that we wanted to make this a programmable web application platform. And with IIS 7.0, we fully re-architected that in a way that's dramatically more performant, secure, reliable, battle-tested, integrated things like native support for AJAX, for ASP.NET, and more, so that we can actually run this type of an experience at a mission-critical class level. Microsoft.com probably the largest website on the internet, maybe number two or three, depending upon which metric, has been running on Windows Server 2008 and IIS 7 for the last 10 months, serving hundreds of millions of customers around the world. We literally have 450 million users connect up to that website every month, unique users. Uh, and so this is a very proven technology. And then lastly, the work that's required to integrate website technology and, and really bring the world of developers more easily and, and tied into the world of data. Certainly, most web-driven applications are using data in new and interesting, compelling ways, and the demands of the developers to be able to manipulate that data are increasing. Some really exciting things are happening here. Uh, the first that I'll mention is Link, Language Integrated Query. Uh, new capability set as part of .NET 3.5, rich support for it in Visual Studio 2008, and of course the SQL 2008, 
And the beauty of this is that we allow developers very familiar with BB.net to immediately manipulate and control and have rich access to data without having to have very deep knowledge around structured query language. They can use the language that they're most familiar with. Uh, on the SQL Server 2008 perspective, we've done some really exciting things. Uh, one of them is called the Entity Framework. So with the Entity Framework, essentially a database administrator can configure things like tables or rules or queries or that might be sales or inventory or customer lists. And then a developer can just use uh, you know, pb.net to program those. So dramatically more performant. Here in, the, uh, in Romania, we're seeing some really exciting things taking place as well. We've got a great uh, partner in terms of InfoWorld who's doing some exciting stuff on the IS7 platform. Some of you are probably familiar with the uh, medical patient record site MediaNet that's starting to use some of these technologies in really exciting ways. Well, this is another one where we want to show off the software. And so what I'd like to do is to invite Petru uh, on board with his magician's hat uh, to show us some of the software. Thank you for joining us. Deci vom discuta următorul scenariu. Uh, vom avea o pagină asp.net uh, dezvoltată cu Visual Studio 2008. Vor fi un set de pagini ASPX care, un lucru foarte important aici pe care l-a menționat John cu introducerea tehnologiei Silverlight, este să avem o zonă în această pagină care va fi animată într-un anumit fel. Și un lucru foarte important cu această tehnologie este că, în momentul de față, interacțiunea poate veni și din punct de vedere a introducerea elementelor media. Deci vom avea un filmuleț la un moment dat în pagină. În același timp, în suita Visual Studio 2008, putem vorbi despre un lucru foarte important și anume productivitatea în echipă, adică lucruri în echipă. Și una din uh, lucrurile foarte importante despre Visual Studio 2008 este că avem Suita Team System. Și vom folosi astfel în spate un uh, server, Team Foundation Server, unde vom ține setul de task-uri pe care trebuie să le fac. Haideți să vedem despre ce este vorba. Voi merge uh, pe mașina pe care voi uh, face practic modificările pe care trebuie să le fac ca dezvoltator. Ca să vedem în mare despre ce este vorba, adică despre ce pagină este vorba, aici avem câteva screenshot-uri. Toată partea de jos a acestei pagini este o zonă în care se animează câteva elemente Silverlight, exact despre ce aici a vorbit John. Și un lucru foarte important este că, din punct de vedere a dezvoltatorului, dezvoltatorului eu am să fac câteva modificări la această pagină și să vedem cum interacționăm în Visual Studio din punctul ăsta de vedere. Am soluția pornită în Visual Studio. Deoarece lucrez în echipă, aș vrea, în primul rând, în Team Explorer să accesez lista de task-uri pe care trebuie să le fac. Deci, vor va exista un set de task-uri. Imediat vom accesa această listă. Imediat să se conecteze și la server. Am terminat task-urile, eu ca dezvoltator, indiferent de rolul pe care l-am, trebuie să merg și să închid acele task-uri. Voi face închiderea primului task. Evident, ar trebui să le fac pentru toate. După ce salvez, soluția fiind deja publicată, voi accesa mașina pe care voi putea testa website-ul. Haideți să, să deschidem încă o dată. Așa. Ceea ce trebuie să observați este exact ceea ce spuneam. Beneficiind de tehnologia Silverlight, pot într-o pagină ASPX să integrez foarte bine niște uh, lucruri care țin de animație și de play a unui a unii formuleț. Și evident că tot ce ține de uh, modificarea acestor elemente o pot face din tool specifice unui design. Și voi accesa câteva lucruri aici și voi vedea că în anumite locații se întâmplă anumite elemente. Uh, ca rezumat acestui demo, aș vrea să uh, înțelegeți că cu Visual Studio 2008, practic, una dintre promisiunile pe care le facem și unul din avantajele pe care o să-l aveți cu Visual Studio 2008 este să interacționați mult mai bine cu echipa și să dezvoltați aplicații web mult mai ușor. Great, uh, thank you so much. so exciting to us about this set of releases is that if you understand .NET and if you've been working with IIS, with this wave of technologies, you can create this type of compelling experience without the level of learning technically required. Great demonstration. Thank you again.